Hello there and welcome to the clinic. So it's my understanding you want to see some more videos about the optometric equipment and learn a little bit more about how it works and what it does. So today I have decided to select the Perkins Applination Tonometer here which is a device for checking the intraocular pressure through applanation. The other similar test that works like the Perkins is the Goldman, but the Perkins is a handheld device, which is perfect for domiciliary visits, or if you do not have a slit lamp in practice, so it's housed in this firm protective case. We have a carry handle here and the protective um, clips there to keep everything secure. This is the back of the box and underneath just some little um, raised stands there. Okay, so let's get the Perkins out, have a little look at the model. So here is the Perkins in the protective slot here. And we have the nice foamy material. To keep everything um, safely protected inside. There's a little bit of give there. was a little bit of impact resistance if you were to drop the box. So here we have some uh, equipment to help calibrate the Perkins tonometer. Some little slots here for your uh, tonometer probes. And just here we have a reusable tonometer probe. This has to be sterilized between patients if you're using the reusable probe there. If you're using disposable um, tonometer heads then we have the little plastic holder here and your disposable uh, tonometer head will just attach to that there. Okay, let's remove the Birkins. Here is the Perkins. It is relatively lightweight. Starting at the bottom, this area is where the batteries are housed to give the machine some power. We have the dial here for reading the intraocular pressure in millimetres of mercury that would be 20, 18, 16, 14, 12 and 10 anything below and anything above there that is the dial pressure reading scale there and that the Perkins is on you can see we have two cobalt blue light projectors here. This is the slot where our probe shall be attached. We have the little marking here and a marking on the probe for perfect alignment. And we have the 
adjustable headrest here for added uh, balance and stability when performing the test. So if we turn the dial here, we shall extend the face rest, full headrest, as far or as little as you like. I like to have it at maximum and just secure it back with the dial there. And this is the viewing portal here where we shall observe the Myers and try and align them thus checking the intraocular pressure. Okay. in one of the probes. We have the uh, reusable one here and we are looking for the uh, 180 degrees marking. We shall align this with the marking here. Let's keep the Myers at this orientation. is ready to use and I just want to show you a more retro Perkins model here so again the batteries are housed in the base there you have your reading dial and scale here autonometer probe slot here and just one source of cobalt blue light emission area here there's the viewing portal where the medical professional shall view the Myers and just like the first Perkins tonometer. We have an adjustable headrest here. Adjustable headrest. Bring it out to where you prefer. Secure and we're good to go. It has a little bit of give for comfortable resting on the forehead. That is the retro model. Right, let's have a little look at what else we need to perform a Perkins applanation tonometry. Okay, so obviously the probe is going to be gently touching the cornea for a minimal amount of time. Obviously the cornea is very sensitive so we have to anaesthetize your corneal surface with some anaesthetic eye drops. Um, this is lidocaine with added fluorescein in. If you're using anaesthetic um, such as oxybuprocaine, tetracaine, um, you'll have to instill the fluorescein separately. This is anaesthetic and fluorescein combined. Essentially, we have to explain that the eye drops sting a little bit at first, but the stinging soon disappears. Um, try and avoid rubbing your eyes after when you leave the practice because you won't feel any sensation on the front of your eye and the drops will not be affecting your eyesight 
And it's also important to remember or to ask the patient if they have any uh, allergies to anaesthetic they know of. Did they have a bad experience um, at the dentist with anaesthetic, for example? So we remove the protective top. Replace one drop in the right and one in the left. Give the patient a few moments. Take about 30 seconds to completely numb the cornea. So using the model eye here, as the patient is looking up, we shall lower the lids. Up and lower if you like. Or get the patient to look up and remove the lower lid to clear the area here and we place one drop on the corneal surface let's get the model eye at the correct orientation So when the patient's ready, they shall uh, breathe normally. Avoid wearing any tight clothing around the neck. And they shall not hold their breath and they'll keep both eyes open. And just put them at ease and tell them that they uh, won't feel the uh, tenumbra probe. Gently applinate the corneal surface. Uh, we're going to applinate an area between three and four millimeters. So ask the patient to blink, stare, place the probe against the cornea very delicately. And we shall see the Myers uh, in conjunction with the fluorescein dye. The cobalt blue shall excite the fluorescein. We shall see the Myers through the viewing portal. We shall adjust the scale accordingly to align those moyers and thus tell us what the intraocular pressure is at that particular time of day using the Perkins. Right, so now that we have explained about the Perkins and how it works, maybe we should give a little demonstration on yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pop the anaesthetic eye drops into your eyes. They'll sting a little bit, but it will soon wear off. Your vision might be affected. Have you had any previous uh, adverse reactions to anaesthetic? Either at the opticians or the dentist. Excellent, let's begin. Look up for me. Okay, I'm just going to give you a moment. Looking up to the ceiling again, we need a drop in the left. Okay, close your eyes. I'm just going to gently dab the excess fluorescein dye that just spills over the lid margins. It does wash off if any lands on the skin. to start on about 16 millimeters of mercury here uh, as I'm performing the test keep looking into the distance keep both eyes open breathe normally at all times the tenometer probe gently touches the eye just for a brief amount of time and then I'll be able to take the reading Okay, let's dim the room lights. 
Also note whether you are performing this test with the patient sitting upright or lying down as that can influence the reading. Okay. Right. And I'll just be resting against your forehead. So looking straight ahead at one point. Do not take your eyes off that point. Let's just rest here. I'll have to take the headrest back a little bit. Okay, now just take a blink and stare and bring it against the eye, adjust the scale, align the Myers, and then we should have a reading there, looking against the scale. Okay, how was that? Right. I'm glad you didn't feel anything there. So for the left eye, same thing, keep looking straight into the distance, breathe naturally, keep the two eyes open there, blink, stare, and we'll bring it against the surface, aplanate, determine the force required to aplanate that particular diameter, read the scale, and note the reading. And that's the Perkins tonometry completed on you today. Um, just ensure that you note the time of day that you take the pressure readings, as the pressure does have a uh, tendency to be higher in the morning and lower in the afternoon. So that's everything.